In other news, a high-end restaurant calling the fashion police to weed out some fashion don'ts for those choosing to dine in. Tonight, the owner of Detroit's Caucus Club working to clear the air after taking to social media, urging customers to keep it classy. Fox News' Randy Wimley live now with that story. Randy. Hey guys, I talked with the owner of the restaurant who says that since the pandemic began, people have gotten really lax with their behavior and how they dress. And that post is all about getting people to step up their game again, at least when they come here. That it was a, a reminder with a little bit of a little bit of sauce just to get people's attention. And, yeah. uh, and it didn't, I don't mean any harm by it. Caucus Club owner George Sabukis on the Facebook post that's earning the fine dining establishment in downtown Detroit both cheers and jeers. You can't wear sneakers. Why can't you wear sneakers? Sabukis sharply reminding customers of the restaurant's dress code, business casual at a minimum, and making it loud and clear those reeking of reefers are not welcome. Hashtag no Cheech and Chong. It's so pungent. Some of the guests that commented, it smells as if there's a, you're seated next to a dead skunk. Not exactly the vibe the caucus club is known for. We had people celebrating their 50th uh, uh, last week, the week before that. Uh, they're getting dressed up. They're putting on an evening gown, their earrings, their, uh, their best suit. They're coming out to celebrate and they expect to be surrounded by like-minded guests. It's an upscale place. It's a nice place to eat, nice place to go on a date, um, special occasions. We talked with people about the post. If I'm spending my money, I should be able to dress comfortably. Dress up, put the sweats <laughs> back. We've been in sweats for a year, take them off. I've probably been like this and to some it's business attire, but not what they mean. And about the caucus club's kibosh on Kush. What about people who have medicinal need? They, can't they smell like it and come to the club? You know, patchouli. Back in the day, we wore patchouli. Everybody <laughs> thought we were smoking weed. We were just wearing patchouli. The restaurant's Facebook post touched a nerve. One user calling it racist. I have to tell you, I'm really offended by that, both personally and as a citizen. For starters, to try and insinuate that any group of people is incapable of following a code is in itself a racist statement. If you scroll through the social media, you'll also notice a big uh, a hole in my family. My adopted son uh, died two years ago this May. Uh, uh, he was uh, 21, he'd be 23 now, and he died in a car accident. Uh, he was uh, African and uh, Greek descent. Uh, and he was, that's my, that's my family. Sabuka says the post is just about getting things back to the way they used to be, pre-COVID. I feel like we want to lose these. We want to get back to feeling good about ourselves. And a, a big part of that is getting dressed up and going out. All right, Sabuka so says even though they're back open for in-person dining, they're still taking a hit financially because of the capacity restrictions. And the last thing they want to do is offend and drive away guests who are used to the way things are supposed to go down here, the standards that they've had in place for years. You, Monica? So, Randy, how frequently are people coming in smelling like marijuana and violating the dress code? Well, he says it's not uh, incredibly often, more like maybe once or maybe even twice a week, but it's enough for people to notice and to really uh, offend a lot of guests who come here and are used to the way that things are done here at the uh, caucus club. Is he at all worried that he may lose some business by what he posted on social media? I'm sorry, Hugh, one more time there. Is he at all worried that he may lose some business by what he posted on social media? Well, that doesn't really seem to be the case because normally because they're under those uh, limited capacity uh, capacity restrictions, they have to turn people away anyway. So even if some people say, hey, I'm not going to spend my money here at the caucus club, there are still folks who still want to come here. And even if you saw in those comments on that Facebook post, people appreciating the stand that he's taking and say, hey, next weekend or this weekend, I'm going to come to the caucus club. So if they lose people, they're going to gain some as well. All right, Randy. Thank you for that live report.